Okay, uh, Vice President DeLucic, uh, Commissioners, Fire Chief Crowley, uh, Leticia, and uh, City Attorney, LAFD Administration, and guests. My name is Adam Van Gerpen. I'm a Captain One and currently serving as a Public Information Officer. And today we are here to recognize two of our LAFD members who have recently been promoted to the highest rank of enlisted members in the Marine Corps as Master Gunnery Sergeant. So this is, uh, this is done through an act of Congress. And um, before we go any further into this, I'd like to call the, the members up. So uh, Firefighter Paramedic uh, Nick Darcy and Firefighter David Arellano, if you could just please uh, stand back here. So uh, today we have uh, uh, Nick Darcy's here, uh, David Arellano is here joined uh, is joined by his uh, joined by his wife here, Emily, and uh, and their son, um, Asher, is able to join us also. So he's got his fire helmet, and he's got his gear on there. <laughs> so uh, uh, their uh, their other kids are in school. So uh, uh, David's um, other children were not able to make it. So uh, Lily and Grace are, are in school right now, and uh, Nick's Nick's family is uh, his fiance is home with their 11 month old ba baby. And uh, his son Wyatt Peyton Colton and Liliana are also at at, uh, at home or in school. So I uh, want to talk a little bit about the Master Gunnery Sergeant rank. Uh, I was in the Marine Corps. I see we have President Freddie Escobar over here is in the Marine Corps. And making Master Gunnery Sergeant is the highest rank available to Marines who have chosen to follow a career track as a technical specialist in the United States Marine Corps. So master gunnery sergeants serve as technical experts for their and offer their leadership to large units of Marines. Less than 1% of Marines will ever achieve the rank of master gunnery sergeant. There are less than 50 master gunnery sergeants in all the Marine Corps, and we have two of them with us in the LAFD. So yeah. So. Thank you, thank you very much. I know they appreciate that. Okay, so uh, as they are very humble, which is not usually something that describes Marines, but, uh, <laughs> but they are, they're very humble in talking about all their accolades. You can see by the military ribbons that they wear, the amount of service that they've done in, uh, to our country. Um, so the, this achievement of Master Gunnery Sergeant is even more uh, elite because in the entire infantry uh, of the Marine Corps, there's only seven Master Gunnery Sergeants. So, uh, and uh, Firefighter Paramedic Nick Darcy is one of those seven in the infantry. In the area of, um, for David Ariano's field, he is the only Master Gunnery Sergeant in his field for all of the Marine Corps reserves. So, uh, because they are humble, I'm gonna talk a little bit about them because they probably won't say much about what they've done. So uh, fire, I'm gonna start with uh, first firefighter paramedic, Nick Darcy. He uh, enlisted in the Marine Corps in May of 2001. He graduated as company Ironman. He then reported to the School of Infantry followed by Security Guard Forces School. In 2002, Darcy deployed with a second fleet as an anti-terrorism security team and he deployed in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Then uh, in 2003, Firefighter Paramedic Nick Darcy deployed with a second fast company to Bahrain and forward deployed to Iraq as a squad leader in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. So when we celebrate Veterans Day every year, I, I, I watch for his social media posts. He recognizes all of his brothers that are not here anymore. So uh, in 2020, Darcy reported to the Naval Expeditionary Combat Headquarters, that's in Norfolk, Virginia, where he was the operations chief and he mentored and oversaw over 40 staff NCOs and 30 senior officers spread out throughout the nation. In September 2023, Nick Darcy was promoted to his current rank of Master Gunnery Sergeant. He now is a military advisor to the 1st Naval Construction Regiment. So uh, he's, he said he couldn't have done this without the support of his family, uh, you know, his, his uh, a new fiance now. And uh, so he's been doing this, uh, actively serving the military while uh, also in the LAFD. So thank you, Nick. Thank you. Okay, now I'd like to tell you a little bit about uh, firefighter David Ariano. He was born in East LA to a long and proud family of Angelinos. 
His dad, Bill Ariano, served as a sergeant for LAPD. David uh, enlisted into the United States Marine Corps in December of 1997. He learned his trade as an artillery scout observer and then went on to school for a naval gunfire spotting. He was hired by the LAFD in, 20, in 2003. So his, uh, he talks a little bit about how he was on probation in 2003 while he was concurrently fulfilling his reserve obligation with the 5th Marines, uh, 5th Battalion, 14th Marines. So uh, it's by, by a coincidence, he found out that Frank Hodgkin Memorial Training Center was also where his home to his current unit when it was operating as the Naval and Marine Corps Center. Uh, and in his words, it was meant to be. So uh, in June of 2005, Sergeant Ariano then was uh, involuntarily activated in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. And he was put on a long-term military leave from the fire department for a whole year. So during this time, he was deployed to Fallujah in the Al Anbar province of Iraq. And you can tell by the, uh, by the amount of military ribbons on there uh, what him and his unit did over there in Fallujah. So after promoting through the ranks of Staff Sergeant and Gunnery Sergeant, now Master Sergeant Ariano transferred to Fort Worth, Texas, where he became the Regimental Fire, uh, Chief, Fires Chief for the 14th Regiment. So not Fire Chief, but Fires Chief. He, he calls in the firing orders. So this was a last stepping stone and the, the, the only opportunity to pick up the rank of Master Gunnery Sergeant. So in October of 2021, his dream came true and uh, he became, uh, he promoted to the rank of Master Gunnery Sergeant. He is the one and only artillery scout observer in the entire Marine Corps to hold this rank. So uh, David Ariano is married to his wife, Emily, who is here uh, joining us today. So she's been there through his, all, all of this. She's been there through uh, all the twists and turns, going through the drill tower, making it through probation, adjusting to normal firefighter life, and then having him deployed with the Marine Corps for over a year, and then readjusting back to normal life after that. So thank you, uh, Emily, for supporting him. So uh, I'd just like to uh, give a hand to these three humble, or these two com uh, humble combat Marines who have proudly served the city of Los Angeles and reached the elite status of a promotion to Master Gunnery Sergeant. Okay, so uh, with that, we do have a, a couple of certificates from Chief Crowley, and I can briefly read them. So, uh, certificate appreciation to Nicholas M. Darcy, firefighter paramedic, in recognition of your dedicated service to the United States Marine Corps, and congr congratulations on your promotion to the rank of Master Gunnery Sergeant. Your ability to balance military and family life while serving as a firefighter paramedic is admirable. The Los Angeles City Fire Department commends you for your bravery and exceptional efforts while being deployed to Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom. Presented on this fifth day of December, 2023, Kristen M. Crowley, Fire Chief. We'll take some pictures after. <laughs> so, Chief, would you like to say a few words and maybe we can get those yeah, we're guys? Have, we've got I have one the one more, more, uh, one more for David Ariano as well. Share. Good, that's good. I'm yeah. glad they each got one. Yes, they, they each get one. <laughs> and uh, so, David Ariano, the Firefighter 3, this is in recognition for your dedicated service to the United States Marine Corps. Congratulations on your promotion as well to the rank of Master Gunnery Sergeant. Uh, your ability to balance your military and family life while serving as a Firefighter 3 is admirable. The Los Angeles City Fire Department commends your bravery and exceptional efforts while being deployed to Fallujah in Iraq, supporting Operation Iraqi Freedom. Presented this fifth day of December, 2023, Fire Chief Kristen M. Crowley. Thank you, Chief. I am absolutely so proud of both of you. Um, I tell you, on behalf of our entire department in the city, thank you for your service and your sacrifice, and to Emily and your family, thank you uh, to the families that also sacrifice. We're looking for opportunities to always highlight the incredible work of our people, and the LAFD is full of individuals just like you that go above and beyond. But 
we had to highlight this exceptional service uh, to our country and every single day sacrifice and commitment dedication to the city of L.A. So on behalf of everybody here and the city that we serve, we thank you. We're extremely proud of you. And uh, I cannot wait to continue to support you in your efforts. Uh, and we're uh, just extremely proud of who you are and what you represent. So thank you for what you do. Would any commissioners like to say anything before we go take pictures? Okay. Just thank you. What, a, what an incredible uh, feat that you two have made. And again, like the fire chief said, serving our country. And we're lucky to have two of the 50 in the entire Marine Corps here in the city and with, with us. So thank you to you and your families for everything and wanting to be firefighters with, with LA. Thank you. And I would just say congratulations and thank you for the hard work because doing firefighting is enough and then paramedics, that's another job. Right. And then you go out and then you help to protect and serve our country. And we are extremely appreciative of the services that you provided for saving, for helping to protect and save our country. Because as we look around the world today, we count our blessings every day, even more so. And I've had so many people tell me how grateful they are to live in the United States of America. Um, and so we thank you for being a part of that great challenge that makes it safe for us to be here and to do the things that we do. And um, I commend the father of that little boy because as a teacher, I noticed him. He knows how to catch his sneeze and cough. I said, oh, that is... That little boy has been well-trained. I love it. Some adults don't do that. <laughs> Many adults don't do that. <laughs> he is really cute. Thank, Thank you, you very much again. And we're proud to have you as a part of the LAFD. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Hara? Just congratulations. Um, actually, I was the last Naval Medical Officer to serve in Vietnam wow. uh, as the uh, Medical Officer for the Cruiser Destroyer Force of the 7th Fleet. Um, and I was on board the USS Turner Joy. Hmm. And for those of you who know history, the Turner Joy and the Maddox were the two destroyers that were fired upon by Vietnamese fishing boats. Wow. Mm -hmm. And in the words of LBJ, we replied. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so I went over, overseas with Turner Joy, came back, um, and I actually trained in internal medicine but when I came back to the Naval uh, Hospital in Long Beach, I had to do deliveries, I had to see children, I had to do a lot of psychiatric counseling, and de facto, I was a family doctor. So it was at that point I decided, I'm going to sit for the family uh, medicine boards, and I became a family doctor. Uh, I had the pleasure of serving on the uh, Board of Directors of the American Board of Family Medicine uh, about 10 years ago. And um, since I trained in internal medicine, I could have trained in pediatrics or OBGYN. I am one of the six surviving uh, grandfathers of the uh, specialty of family medicine. So, wow. um, but uh, again, <laughs> You, we're so proud of you just as b being part of our LAFD, but above and beyond that, just, you know, the, the um, recognition that, uh, that we're giving you today in terms of your accomplishments with the uh, Marine Corps and everything is um, beyond words. And I would also like to thank you for your service and heroism and, again, recognize the sacrifice of your families. Um, for all these decades, um, I know it's got to be really tough. So I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Should we take pictures? I just want to give them the opportunity to say. Oh, a few please, words. please make them talk. <laughs> hey, um, I'd like to thank everybody. Um, this was not possible. Po uh, sorry, possible without the support. Um, I've had great captains. We're known as uh, administrative nightmares sometimes because. <laughs> We take off, we go, we have weird codes to put in, and these captains are like, I don't know what to do with you guys. And all these years, they've done a great job. Um, I've never had any issues with pay, I've never had issues with support, 
when I've deployed, they've always reached out to me like a big family. That's LAFD has been a amazing family. When I was deployed overseas, constantly getting emails, constantly getting calls, even captains that I did not know and chiefs that I did not know were emailing me. So like I said, without the support of LAFD, this would not have been possible. Without the support of my family, definitely would not have been possible. Um, between FEMA, being on the FEMA team, the Thames, uh, all these other side jobs in the fire department, it's just been a strain, and I just, you know, thank everybody for allowing me to do it all. Thank you. Captain Ariano. Commission Board, uh, Vice, Madam Vice, Vice President, Fire Chief, members. Um, yeah, I don't really, I'm not a very uh, uh, distinguished speaker, but I will say that uh, thank you so much for this opportunity, for my wife being here, um, and one of my one of my kids being here, um, Chief, you said it beforehand. There's there are too many people on this department that deserve this type of um, recognition uh, with with their military service, doing, can, you know, at the same time doing their their firefighter service. And uh, Nick and I are very lucky to to be. I guess identified um, in this capacity, and um, we were very humbled and honored for that, um, especially in front of uh, such uh, distinguished guests and and, uh, and and family members. So, uh, thank you so much. Um, there are so many people that brought us to this level. Nick can attest to that as well. That we've uh, we've attained this rank because we've stood on the on the on the shoulders of giants. Some of those giants being uh, members that have brought us through boot camp and other members that have mentored us into this position. Um, so, and that goes along with being in the fire department as well. Um, fire Chief Crowley was one of the, uh, well, let's just say she was one of the drill instructors in my academy um, back in the day. So it's, it's, a, it's a very, it's a very, uh, um, I've come full cir circle now to come back, and now she's the fire chief and, and uh, giving me a, a recognition to, uh, it, to be in front of you, uh, fine people. So thank you so much. And um, Emily, I would not have been able to do this without you. I know that uh, Nick is, is saying the same thing about his significant other, but um, this is, it's been tough. It's been, it's been tough to balance the two uh, with being a, a firefighter a Marine, a father, and whatever else we do on the side. But uh, she's, she's definitely taken up the, the uh, you know, taking the brunt of, the, of, the, of the, uh, the burden. So thank you so much, my love.
Yeah. 